It is overtime here again at Old Favorite Friday, and we are at Barrel Amongst. I am with Ralph Renault. We are talking about another incredible classic beer, and this is an old beer. I, I did not get a actual date of when this was first produced, but it's been around for a very long time. Hofbrau is a old brewery, mm -hmm. a classic German brewery, and this is their Oktoberfest. And uh, we always talk about this around Oktoberfest, around this time of year uh, with these beers, is the fact that there is a little confusion about Fest beer versus Marzen versus Oktoberfest, and there's some overlap and how they're labeled. I know a lot of people think that if it is Oktoberfest, it's a Marzen. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily true, right? The Oktoberfest uh, beer can be a Fest beer, it can be a Marzen. This is a Fest beer. And so far uh, this year with our reviewing beers and talking about them, and mostly we focus on the Marzen style, I think they're a little more prominent. I see more of them out there. Uh, but you see with this Fest beer, it's got this beautiful straw golden color. Um, it's 6.3%. This is a really, really nice beer. I, I mean, out of the Fest beers out there, this is one of the ones I love the best. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it because it is such a nice change because we have done a few of these Marzins. So it's definitely something uh, lighter to me, a little more crisp. It doesn't have quite that heavy bread character that you get with some Marzins. And um, it's interesting because in ways it almost reminds me, maybe not quite all the way, but it reminds me more of like a Hellas because it has that uh, crackery sweetness that you'd expect maybe with a, something a little heavier than a Pilsner, but it doesn't have that hop bite. Well, there are, are hops there to kind of um, layer everything. It's very much a malt forward beer, just like on a lighter Vienna type side. Yeah, it, it does have a cleanness and a crispness to it. I mean, I'm picking up some, a little hop bite on the back end of it, right? I'm, I'm mm -hmm. getting a little bit, I'm getting a little bit like lemon zest, maybe a little bit of grassy, herby notes off of it, but it's not like, you know, a Czech style Pilsner mm -hmm. or something like that. But I think it's a really well-rounded beer and I like the, the crackery malt uh, flavor that you're getting from this. Um, really, really just a, this is the epitome of, especially down here in Florida. I mean, a lot of times what people love when they go and they drink the Marzen, they like it because it's kind of like, feels like fall. It's got a little more body to it, a little more richness, a little more sweetness, even though there's a, there's a nice tinge of sweetness here. And we feel like, okay, I'm in Michigan, the weather's starting to cool off a little bit, and maybe not these days anymore, but back uh, traditionally. So you get that bigger, richer, darker beer. Well, we're in Florida and it's still miserably hot and it's always that way, if not just because of, you know, the current climate. Uh, so having this beer at this time of the year for me is great because it's crisp, it's dry. Um, it hits all it hits all those boxes with the malt flavor balanced with the hot flavor. Yeah. And, and I was going to say, especially, I mean, it's in the name being a, a fest beer, but this strikes me as a beer that you could have a few of, you know, you're hanging out with people. It's kind of a party atmosphere. You're eating a bunch of food. And I could definitely see like where they're going for, with this because it's well, like I said, it's well layered. So it has enough flavor to keep you interested, but you're also not going to get palate fatigue because there's not so much going on that you need to like take a break in between. You could have several of these and just keep going back to this beer. And I believe this also comes in at 6.3%, which is not light, right? Yeah. I mean, I think this beer hides that alcohol percentage really, really well, which is another a good, a sign of a great beer is always that and a, and a brewery like off brow definitely can do that after, you know, a century or so of making beer, I believe. Uh, so, you know, really, really well balanced. Uh, you mentioned a little bit about, you know, uh, the, the palatability of it. Uh, any recommendations you would talk about like food choices with this? Um, yeah, I mean, with this, I would definitely say, uh, and this is the beauty of it not being overly rich itself, is I would say like rich cheeses, if you were, and to kind of stick with the like uh, October German idea, I would like, I could definitely see some like a uh, schnitzel or even some kind of, uh, you know, grilled sausage or something, because this is uh, light enough, but also uh, present enough in flavor wise, where like if you eat something heavier with this, that one's not gonna overpower the other. Mm -hmm. And this it's not like by the time you're done eating this heavy, rich food, you're not gonna be so full from the beer. So it's a nice balance between the two. You know, when I'm, when I'm drinking this, I'm thinking about if I still had this beer in my fridge, which I won't by the time Thanksgiving comes around, the dark meat of the turkey. I think that kind of slightly gamey, more roasty kind of, there's, there's, a, there's a, lo a layer of like kind of fruity flavor uh, that you get out of, especially depending on what kind of like marinades and stuff you do. I, I usually marinate my turkey in Father Christmas. So oh, a big, go. rich, spice forward uh, quad essentially. But I can see this kind of accentuating some of that more, those like fruity flavors and pairing well with the, the, the slight fat, more fatty nature of like a darker meat on a turkey because of the crispness, the dryness, 
sweetness and some of the grassier herby, herby notes. I don't know why, but when I was thinking about this, I, like, I, like, I want to add this with turkey. Uh, this is something that I thought that would work really well with this beer. Uh, this is one of those beers that I think because of its presentation, and this is a, this is an old fashioned kind of presentation. I mean, we look at the, the package here, this does not scream, you know, new world craft beer <laughs> geek, right? It's yeah. not graphic laden. You literally have two people drinking beer on the side of the, I, I can't believe, I can't remember the last time I saw another package that looks like this, yep. no, but it, it's, a, it's a traditional, it's an old style beer. And I think that some people get a little bit biased of these kind of beers when they see them on the show. Oh, I've seen that for 15 years of my drinking beer. It's probably not that great because it's been around forever and it's widely available. And I love to dispel those notions in, uh, in these videos because look at this beer with fresh eyes, try it maybe for the first time in a while, you're really, really gonna like it if this is up, if this a Fest beer is your speed because this is one of the quintessential versions of a Fest beer. Yeah, and I mean, just even the fact that how long they've been around, that's just a testament too, because there's plenty of breweries, especially nowadays, that have been around for what we'd assume would be a long time and they're kind of, you know, not either as present or unfortunately they've had to close their doors. So there's got, that's just a testament to the quality. And yeah, to some, some extent, it's just kind of uh, there and it's in the culture, but it, if it was just in the culture and didn't have the quality, it wouldn't, I think, last as long as it has and continue be, to be a strong player in the best beer market. So clearly they're doing something right. And definitely when you look at new world breweries that are trying mm -hmm. to make these styles, this is another one of those ones where you've got to bring it, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going to do a, a, a tasting and say, I'm going to make a fest beer at my brewery, this is one of the ones you have to put down with two or three other ones and try them, understand the style, understand what you're trying to do and your spin is going to be. It's going to come from the foundation of the great breweries that do it. So uh, listen, we only have a couple of weeks left when these beers are really going to be fresh mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to be present out there in market. A lot of them are already disappearing from store shelves. So get your get your six pack of Hofbrau Oktoberfest. Uh, pick up your other favorites, your Marzins, the other beers, even your pumpkin beers. We might feature one or two more before the end of October. And uh, let us know what you think. Let us know if we're off the base. If you don't think this is one of the best versions of a Fest beer. If you think there's a better one out there that's widely available that we haven't featured, please let us know. We know that there's a lot of great, great examples out there. We don't get a chance to get our hands on every one of them. Uh, some because they're not in the state mm -hmm. and others because we don't know about them. Uh, so please let us know. Also let us know what we should do for next week for Old Favorite Friday. Uh, give us your comments. Uh, follow us on Instagram, do all those cool things, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.